can you just pull up to Linus Media Group and just walk right in and say hi? I don't know. Let's just drive there and find out. Hello and welcome to Gears and Tech. We are here in the lower mainland of British Columbia and I've got a little bit of spare time on my hands. So what better thing to do than to drive around visiting my favorite YouTubers. One YouTuber that is most notable in this area would be LMG, Linus Media Group, or if you believe one of their more recent videos, Linus Meta Group. They're not far from where I am right now, and I thought, you know, why not just show up and just see what they say? I don't know what happens if you just show up there. Are they accepting visitors? I don't know. We are going to just drive straight there and see what it looks like in the area and see if we can get a feel for things. Maybe we'll see a couple of them. I don't know if we'll be able to get in, but stay tuned to find out. Hey, before we get too far into this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. If you have been to this channel at least one time before, that means that this is your second time and you are still not subscribed. Obviously, you're enjoying this content. Obviously, YouTube wants you to see this content because you're seeing it again. We have a lot of return visitors, but we're not getting the subscribers like we hoped we would. We're counting on you to subscribe so we can make better content. So, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and the bell. This algorithm will just get blown out of the water and it'll just tell the whole world, I like this video. And with that, let's get back to the content. Who exactly are LMG, Linus Media Group? On their website, they say, Linus Media Group is a full service production agency with decades of collective experience in web video and social media and influencer marketing. LMG houses many YouTube channels. It's not just Linus Tech Tips. Some of the other notable channels that are produced at the LMG headquarters would include Linus Tech Tips, Tech Quickie, Tech Linked and Short Circuit. Those channels alone have over 20 million subscribers in total. Just those four channels. That's not the only channels that LMG produces. When you include the other channels that they have, they have over 23 million subscribers between all of them. The total views across all of their channels combined is more than 6 billion individual views. Linus Tech Tips is currently the highest ranked tech channel on YouTube. And if you look at the website Social Blade, which I've covered in other videos that I've done, we see that they have a rank of A minus. And Social Blade also says that it is the 10th most popular YouTube channel in Canada. Also, for referencing Social Blade, they say that their income is between 254000 up to $3.9 million per year just from YouTube ad revenue alone. And that's only for their one channel, the most popular one, LTT, Linus Tech Tips. They have a staff of around 30 people so far, currently, and that staff is made up of writers, editors, camera operators, researchers, technicians, and a number of other, like they've got an HR person now and a lot of other jobs. So it's not just all free money. They have a lot of salaries to pay, 30 people. That's a lot of mouths to feed. And if you look up online, they actually pay pretty good. Linus has spoke out about that and said, we are paying above average and above minimum wage for every position that we pay in. It's not a bad place to work from a pay perspective. To help them cover all those salaries, they do have a number of other revenue streams. So at the combined total income for Linus Media Group is around $20 million a year. So they're doing okay. The main channel, LTT, has been on YouTube since 2008. They've been on YouTube for a long time and that obviously helps to contribute to the success that they've been having. Linus Media Groups produce 17 videos per week. That's across their multiple channels. So their main channel, LTT, does have one video a day. They have a buffer of around 10 videos at any given point. What that means is you can preload videos into YouTube and have them 
release at certain intervals. The big news recently was when Linus Sebastian announced that he was going to be retiring from his YouTube channel about a year ago. And it caused a lot of controversy in the scene because he was such a prominent figure across those channels. And it's hard to just get up and walk away. What is the future of Linus Media Group? Well, I'm gonna tell you about that in a minute. We're just pulling up to LMG now. I'm here outside Linus Media Group where their address is listed online. We know that this is not the only site that they have. They have a couple others, but this is their main office, at least currently. And what you will notice is, first of all, this is a regular place of business. The doors are locked and there's a sign that says, please don't just drop in and visit us. There's also curtains over the window so that you can't see in. Partly because this is an active production studio. There's people actually trying to do work. So think about it as if it was your own place of employment. Are you able to just accept people coming in to visit and talk to you? No, it slows down the workflow. And like we talked about already, they have 17 videos they're trying to put together. And that means for very tight production timelines. They don't have all day to mingle with fans. Now I know this is contrary to the image that they portray on their YouTube channel. They're very approachable, they're fun. They're just happy computer guys that just wanna have some fun and share some knowledge. But that's not the reality for a production environment. They can't allow a lot of disruptions. And someone like myself just coming by to say, hi, what are you guys up to? that slows them down and really who am I? They don't care who I am, they have a job to do. They have millions of people counting on them to do their job and they just can't slow down. I guess that leads us into what is next for Linus Media Group. Well, of course Linus would be able to answer that best. If we look at kind of what they've been doing since he announced that he was retiring, you will notice that they have taken a proactive approach to making sure that there are other people featured in their videos more and more. So it is a planned approach. Linus was not joking when he said he wanted to step back. He wanted to slow down. He's got a family, he's got a wife, he's got things to do. He certainly has the money now. So why does he need to work so hard? He shouldn't have to. So it makes sense that they will slowly phase him out of the limelight. They will find interesting characters to insert into their videos who we can connect with and still continue accepting the advice from those individuals. Until we reach the point where Linus is no longer starring in his videos, he's merely featured in some videos. That will allow him to step back into more of the CEO role, which he also has occupied since 2013. Once we've accepted the fact that there are more people at Linus Media Group, that can get the news out, that can get the tech out, and that they can maintain that high level of quality for their videos, we will see him disappear into the background until ultimately he will be able to retire quietly without anyone getting all up in arms about his departure. As far as can you visit Linus Media Group? Can you drive by LTT and see what they're up to? Yes. It is a business and we are in a business park. There's tons of businesses here. There's always gonna be people coming and going. That's not a surprise. You are not supposed to come and bang on the door. You're not welcome to come peek through the glass. Respectfully keep your distance, let them do their job. I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to check out some of our other content over here. There's a lot of great videos in our back library and I'm sure you'd love to check those out. We hope to see you again, but until next time, this has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.